Hey friends, welcome back to your Thursday edition of Hot News. We've got a lot to talk about. Number one, I just want to remind you of the fundraiser that is going on for a research organization for my son's rare genetic disorder. You'll see a donate button around this video. If you would be so generous to donate to that, it would be much appreciated. Any Every single dollar that's donated to them goes 100% into the hands of researchers because the organization themselves covers all of the overhead. So that means your money has 100% effectiveness. None of it's going towards paying anybody's salary or anything like that and it could potentially mean that my son could have a cure or a much better life in the future as well as everybody else who suffers uh, with the Syngap rare disorder. Number two, we got a sponsor for today, which is Four Sigmatic. My friends, I've talked about them on this show before. This is the coffee that I drink. I've been buying it since I've been back in the United States and we got them as a sponsor after that. So I love it very much. But the real reason you should really, really check them out right now is because they're having their summer sale for 2020 where they're having sale prices of up to 50% off on their store. And if you use the coupon code UFD tech at checkout, you'll get an additional 10% off. So in total, I think that's like 55% off of the raw cost. This is coffee with mushrooms in it. They also have other things such as just regular drinks that you have with culinary mushrooms in them for the cognitive benefits. It's not actual mushrooms in that way, it's culinary mushrooms. And so I drink Four Sigmatic exclusively. I'm very excited that they're a partner. So you could click the link in the video description, take advantage of their summit sale and use coupon code UFD tech to save 10%. It's phenomenal, just do it. And just talk about NVIDIA. Let's, let's do that now because hot news is time, okay? NVIDIA's spec sheet is apparently being leaked. We have to obviously take everything with a grain of salt. We've seen so many different leaks come here and there, and there's so much happening that we can't necessarily keep our heads straight around it. But this one is also pretty big, as all leaks tend to be. We haven't seen too many where it's just like, yeah, NVIDIA's gonna give us like a 3% increase this time. I would actually, I don't know if I would be more inclined to believe that. Regardless, there's now a spec sheet showing the RTX 3080 Ti off. You can see in the image here, that's the 3080 Ti on the GA102 core, GA standing for the Ampere architecture, 5,376 CUDA cores, seven nanometer design, a boost core frequency of 2,200 megahertz. It says the single performance of it is 21 teraflops. However, that seems to be based on the base clock and not on this boost core frequency that it's talking about, 12 gigabytes, at 18 gigabits per second of Samsung memory, and then a total memory throughput of 863 gigabytes per second, nearly hitting that one terabyte that AMD has on the Radeon 7. You remember that card? Yeah, that's the thing. Anyways, um, you can see here in the breakdown that once you actually take it based on the boost clock, we're looking at more like a 22 teraflop GPU, which is just positively massive. The 2080 Ti is only 14, so this would be over 50% faster than the 2080 Ti, which would be a great increase in just raw performance. Obviously, teraflops is not the entire story. There's things like architectural refinements and certain math principles that cards can do well that other can't. Uh, if this is 50% faster than the 2080 Ti, but it does four times the better ray tracing. Is it really only 50% faster? Yes, because nobody used ray tracing. So it's infinity faster when it comes to ray tracing. So 3080 Ti, 22 teraflops. Does that sound legit to you? Does this image of how it got leaked look legit to you? Uh, just keen to hear what you're thinking of all of this down below in the comments. But in case you wanna talk about what you can get for NVIDIA cards right now, well, with the latest driver update, RTX GPUs now support DX12 Ultimate, which is the latest API from Microsoft to support ray tracing, variable rate shading, and a whole bunch of features that we're gonna be seeing implemented in future games. So in case you want a DX12 Ultimate, you can now get it. And you can get the end of the world with AMD inside. Yes, AMD announcing a partnership with CERN. They are going to be part of the end of the world. They have their second gen Epic 7742 processors deployed at the Large Hadron Collider and they are just gonna be working with CERN. And we talked about in an episode of Hot News two days ago that CERN announced their 100 kilometer long, 100 tera electron volts super collider. So if AMD is a part of that too, you can blame AMD for the fact that the world is gone, sucked into a massive black hole because of all of the spin and particles, the quarks and the gluons and the super juiced plasma of the early universe. AMD's fault, which Intel not gonna have any of that. They're gonna have really, really cool SSDs because they're 15.3 terabytes and they look like a giant stick. Yes, my friends, you can see their server SSDs, 15.3 terabytes right here. They just look like a stick that you can just smack a ball with. 
I guess. What what people like like when you whack a ruler, I didn't want to say you want to hit people. Anyways, you can see here that the specs is 64 layer TLC 3D NAND, about three gigabytes per second read and write. They're supposed to be able to fit in one new chassis, maximize the storage that way. And boy, howdy, do they? 15.3 terabytes. And boy, howdy, does the DAC have a really beautiful compact water cooled PC, the Moab 2 Elite. You can see it right here, taking advantage of a lot of different cool stuff that Zadak has. Obviously, you see the Spark RAM right there. You see the fact that they have the water cooler. This is just a gorgeous build if they're selling it like this. I absolutely love it. And I'll probably take one of these. NZXT having renders available of their Z490 motherboards. In case you're not familiar with these, these tend to be ECS motherboards that NZXT puts a very minimalistic cover on and then they have been Intel exclusive. I briefly talked to NZXT about whether or not they'd go AMD and they were just like, no, we don't have any plans. So that kind of sucks. I guess you guys let me know in the comments, how much do you want NZXT to release a AMD version of this? Cause I would absolutely snag one up. I'm not sure why I would snag up a Z490. And I'm not sure why you would have ever snagged up Olympus cameras. Is that really a thing that people were doing in 2020? Well, it appears that the company has gone under. They have sold their camera business to the company that actually bought out Sony Vio's PC division as well. Japan Industrial Partners is now going to be the owner of Olympus cameras. So, I mean, is this really a big deal? Olympus wasn't a huge player in anything. And Microsoft doesn't seem to care if their Xbox Series X is a huge player in everybody's home console. Phil Spencer saying previously that his job wasn't dependent on how many Xboxes he said. And now in a new interview, he said that the hardware advantages that we've built in the Xbox Series X will show up. Continuing on, I said saying, I feel good about our game lineup and our first party content show in July. I mean, I, I have to say, if you're tooting your own horn, if you're stroking your own ego like this, saying our hardware advantages are going to show Show up. You'll see. We'll tell you. Whereas you have Sony having game developers say, no, seriously, the hardware advantages are there. You have external parties saying everything's going to be cool. But with Microsoft, and Microsoft is like, no, our console's cool too. Don't you? We'll show. Don't you? Shush. We'll have you. You know. You'll know. Uh, it doesn't bode a lot of confidence for me. And Sony has a lot of confidence that you guys will be able to find where they've screwed up. They're starting their PlayStation bug bounty program, announcing a $50,000 payout for people who can report bugs that impact the PlayStation 4 system, operating system, accessories, or the PlayStation network itself. Maybe they will actually have this for the PlayStation 5 as well, but bug bounty for Sony. Go get your cash. Go get your cars, because Project Cars 3 now has a release date. The release date, August 28th, 2020, so it's going to be a PC, Xbox One, and PS4. But that's not just going to be what Marvel's Avengers game will be on. It's going to be supported on the PS5 and the Xbox One. Square Enix had a live stream of the game, and I have to say, I don't understand why they're making this at all. It just doesn't look good. So... I, maybe I'm missing something. Are you excited for the Marvel's Avenger game? It does not look to be the same quality of the Spider-Man game. So uh, what has Square Enix really done well lately? The, the Final Fantasy VII Remake was like pretty good, like a 7 out of 10. But there is obviously pacing issues and the fact that it took them a very, very freaking long time to come out with it. I, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was last year. It wasn't even that met with that great reviews and then kingdom hearts 3 was also last year what square enix doing with their lives give us a parasite eve remake do that well ea is going to do something that they should have done a long time ago which is double down on their star wars license you know the star wars license that they've had since 2013 the ea ceo now saying that they're gonna they're gonna actually take it seriously but fortnite's not gonna squander away its popularity no zero chance because they're announcing a christopher nolan movie night in fortnite this is obviously after rise of skywalker had like reveal stuff travis scott's major concert in fortnite that you're gonna be able to watch it's uh, several Christopher Nolan films. Obviously, this is an anticipation of Christopher Nolan's new film, Tenet, which I actually really, really want to see. And also, they had a trailer that debuted in Fortnite. They're either going to be showing Inception, Batman Begins, or The Prestige, and you can come to this website right here to see which one you're going to get dependent on your area. So that's going to be a thing for you. And apparently, what's a thing for everybody now is a Pokemon MOBA called Pokemon Unite, which not only sounds like a stupid idea, it's even stupider because it's going to launch on the Switch and MOBAs just aren't really all that great on consoles. I, I just, I can't, I don't think I would ever get into one. Number two, it's made by Tencent, which a lot of people hate. And then number three, the game looks awful. It, 
it just it looks like everything is up in the gosh dang game where's the where's the clips the the pokemon characters look awful like they're so jagged and oh just disgusting looking and then also it just looks like a really 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 bad league of legends so freaking stop don't do this. Nobody wants this. And nobody wants Microsoft to have really bad Windows updates. I mean, they had a quality control team and they fired everybody. And you figured that it was because they were very confident in their ability to do it right the first time. Well, no, and they can't even do it right the second time with Microsoft now confirming that June Windows 10 update could trigger reboots with no fix available right now. This is after that there was a printer spooling issue that happened. There's now the lsas.exe failure, which can cause blue screens of death and force you to reboot Microsoft saying that they're fixing it they got it but uh you know why didn't you have this in the first place Microsoft you you fired the entire team that worked on this, this you're eating your own rewards here but while Windows might be crashing hopefully your Tesla won't crash but according to JD Power it is the worst car manufacturer when it comes to car quality this is the JD Power initial quality study and it ranked dead last out of all the brands tested this is coming after they were only able to test Tesla in 35 states because Tesla technically doesn't uh, officially participate in this survey and so they had to gather their data elsewhere but you can see here that Tesla just at the very bottom of initial quality with 250 problems per 100 vehicles whereas the top ones Dodge and Kia are only 136 so Tesla nearly being twice as worse and getting wrecked by Land Rover Audi Volvo Mercedes but all of the car Tesla sucks don't you know I do you have problems with your Tesla car if you bought one hmm maybe this is what happened when you're your CEO billionaire just trying to fly you to the moon forgot that you have to drive here on earth is that what's happening well you might be able to fly to the moon with your brain power with four sigmatics mushroom coffee I love it so much don't forget that they're having their summer sale right now up to 50% off and you save 10% with our coupon code it's phenomenal they didn't remove the discount to give you an extra discount they just gave you an extra di discount so just Check out Four Sigmatic down below at the link in the video description. Give them coupon code UFD Tech to get that extra sale. And then also, uh, don't forget to donate to the charity for uh, Singap Research Fund. It would be very much appreciated if you did so. And that will be the end of Hot News today. That's that's gonna. I'm done. I've had enough. I'm just. I'm gonna. Bye.